Hey guys, welcome back to Gaming Solo. Today we're going to have a look at one of the games that got me into the whole sort of solitaire gaming puzzle scene. It's time for us to discover Tantrix. This little bag in front of us is exactly what you need to play Tantrix Discovery. It's ten pieces and they come in a little bag or you can get them on a little metal stand or a little wooden stand. So for aesthetics, huge points already because you can buy it for whatever suits you. The pieces, as I say, there are ten of them. And they can look like this. You have one side, have three different colour stripes. You have medium hooks, which go between two spaces. Little fish hooks, I call them, which go between corners. And you have another shape of hook, which is a straight, like this one here. The tiles are black, and on the back they're numbered, 1 to, one to 10. And they are coloured on the back as well. That becomes important when playing the game. The pieces are really nice. They're really thick and chunky. Nice and sturdy. The paint's in nice and properly. And they've got... And the numbers are all embossed as well. So there's not going to be coming off or anything. If you don't like them in black, you can get them in a variety of colours. I know there's a white. I know there's a green. I'm sure there's more colours. The colours on... The lines are, you can get different ones. There's always three different colours per thing, that, per um, tile though, because of the way the game works. How does the game work? Very, very easy. You start, you have all ten tiles, and you flip them over, doo -doo -doo, and get them in order. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You start with the first three tiles, and they are yellow on the back. So you have to, when flip when I, uh, you flip them over and make three, and have to make a solid loop out of the yellow colours. Then you'll have four, which is red. So you've got to make a solid loop out of the red colours. But, the tricky bit is that you have to make the loop, a complete loop, with no holes in the middle. You can't have a row of tiles with any spaces without tiles in the middle. And you can't have any lines not connecting properly. For example, you can't have, say, whilst the loop's running, a red connecting to the blue randomly. All the other lines can stop and start and go off the edge, but they can't but they must link correctly to their own colour. And that is the basic rules. So I've set up a bit of a challenge for myself today. I know I've got quite good at this, so I can work quite fast. So I've got a five minute timer. There it goes. Let's see how fast I can do this. So the first one is really easy. Ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. Done. Next one. Four. Need to do reds. The first few are very easy because they're just getting you rolling on a pattern. Five. Red again. So now, now we've got a straight, so that makes it a bit more complicated. I think this is when... Yeah, you see, I can't put that piece there, because the yellow and the blue links incorrectly. I'm working slightly off camera, I do apologise. I always apologise for working off camera, and I should really just let you get on with it. dee 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 so let's try working this way. There. That's instantly working better. There we are. That's that one done. Number six is a blue line. Mm -hmm. I tend to find it always helps making 
piles of pieces because once you know what you have you can start looking at what you can do and there we go seven is back to red so again oh lots of the easy curves and two fish hooks and a straight I tend to start with straights it's just sort of force of habit I just find them easy pieces to work from pardon me Unfortunately, you do find, as you waffle to yourself, things become harder. Dee -dee -dee. Rubbish. Incorrect. Start again. I have a funny feeling that looks like it's going to be a fish hook there. You see, I couldn't do something like that. So, let's try putting a fish hook here. And you sometimes have to work around yourself as well. Oh, this seems to be working. No, that's not working at all. That's absolute nonsense. Oh, I've stumped myself on this one. That's quite interesting never helps when you're trying to sort of talk to yourself whilst playing. Uh, no. Oh, now then. Hmm. Wrong. Start again. You do find, I do find it easiest to sometimes to splat pieces in get the shape that you need and then work out the extras later oh this is coming together is it oh it can do like so that looks correct uh, yes it is right so we're doing quite well actually number eight and as I will show later during my during my sort of summary of this game um, this game has all uh, does have a lot of extras to it this is just the ver this is called discovery for a reason that it is a sort of sampler of the game you can also buy a board game which you use these tiles much like dominoes to try and make you you end up with this big oh I don't think I'm gonna get through this one so I'm just gonna stop the timer ciao so I was saying yeah you get a there is a board game where you use you pick a color and you lay your tiles almost like dominoes to try and create the longest line or loops of color to try and beat your opponents and it's really quite tricky but really fun and when you buy the board game the booklet also contains loads of different things I think it has discovery as part of it but it's also got loads of different puzzles and patterns and games solo games in it as well um, but Discovery is sort of the one, as I say, it's called Discovery because it is almost a taster of what Tantrix is. And that is it. That's Tantrix. As you can probably tell, I really like Tantrix. As I say, this is what sort of got me interested in the whole puzzles games to start with. The game is about as flawless as it comes. The tiles look really nice, they're really colourful, nice and solid, have everything they need on it, scratch proof, blah blah blah, 
don't like black ones you can get green you can get white etc um the way it's packaged you it comes multiple different packaging you can have a bag you can have a wooden stand you can have a metal stand no complaints there suits everyone um the game itself the price is really quite long and there's a lot you can do with it you can also add extra sets to make it even longer if you buy the 10 10 tiles to a set if you bought another set you could then do 11 12 if you were that if you were that crazy but also you have the fact that this is it's called discovery for a reason because it is almost the tester if you like tantrics there are numerous other th um products that they do including the actual multiplayer game that comes with a booklet full of different puzzles and patterns you can make tantrics i really advise really really good fun i have yet to find someone who hasn't been completely hooked when i've stuck it in front of them um i give the this is just a five out of five full stop one of the best solitaire games you can get even if you're not into solitaire games get it get the board game get the main game get this for a little office toy whatever pick this up um thank you very much for watching i've been gaming solo